Lipari Sinus, the new wave in sinusitis therapy. Pari Sinus offers a gentle alternative to standard treatments for acute and chronic sinusitis. And this is how to use the Pari Sinus. First of all, assemble the nebulizer. To do this, insert the orange nozzle attachment into the lower section of the nebulizer. Place the upper section of the nebulizer on top and firmly close it by turning it in a clockwise direction. Connect the bend and the nasal joining piece to the nebulizer. Now attach the appropriate end of one of the tubes to the bottom of the nebulizer. Open the lid and pour the inhalation solution into the nebulizer. Saline can be used to shift mucus and nasal discharge. To treat an infection or inflammation, the prescribed medication for inhalation can be used. Close the lid. The appropriate end of the other tube can now be attached to the vibration connection before inserting it into the top of the nebulizer. The free ends of both tubes should now be inserted into the compressor device. It's not possible to confuse the tubes. The tubes will only fit into the sockets for which they are intended. The Pari sinus is now ready for use. Your nose should be clear before starting the therapy. If your nose is blocked, a nasal rinse, such as Pari Montesol, should be used prior to starting the therapy with the Pari sinus. Once your nose is clear, the therapy can begin. Start by inserting the nebulizer just inside one nostril, and then insert the nasal plug provided into the other nostril. In order to ensure that the saline or medication is able to reach your sinuses, your soft palate should be closed. By doing so, block off your nose from your mouth and throat. To close your soft palate, say ing as slowly as possible. Alternatively, slowly breathe in and out through your mouth only, as if you were silently whistling. It is important not to breathe through your nose when doing this. Getting this right can, however, take some practice. If your soft palate is closed properly, the sides of your nostrils will vibrate slightly and some air should come out through the hole in the nasal plug. The Pari Sinus compressor can now be switched on. Once switched on, you will see a fine mist, the so-called aerosol, coming out at the end of the nebulizer. If you look closely, you can see the aerosol pulsating slightly. This is how it is able to get into your sinuses. After two and a half minutes, the nebulizer and nasal plug should be swapped over and the treatment continued until a total of five minutes have passed. If you are saying ing to close your soft palate, continue doing so after each break until the treatment session has been finished. It is normal that a small amount of the solution remains in the nebulizer even after you have finished. Dismantle the nebulizer after every session and wash the components in water with a little dishwashing liquid. The tubes should not be washed or disinfected. The nebulizer should be disinfected once a week. A thermal disinfector can be used, such as a baby bottle disinfector. If preferred, the component parts of the nebulizer can be boiled for five minutes. To dry the tubes, insert the appropriate end of one tube into the air socket. Switch the device on and let it run until the tube is completely dry. Switch the device off. Now insert the appropriate end of the other tube into the air socket and once again switch the device on and let it run until this tube is completely dry also. Please refer to the instructions for use for more details on how to properly use and care for your Pari Sinus device. Pari Sinus, pulsating aerosol, for the precise, effective and gentle treatment of sinusitis.